So what brings you here today? Um, <clears throat> I've had uh, extensive, like, you know, smoking history. I could smoke like two packs a day. But it would be nice to figure out what the hell is going on. I'm really scared. I'm a hypochondriac really bad, and I have a lot of anxiety about it. When I first met Aaron, he was really anxious about his health. During the consultation, Aaron was expressing that he was concerned about his family history with some uh, pulmonary abnormalities. I did an endoscopy. I think the stress has been what's been causing me to not gain weight. You know, I've I just been trying to just uh, get my life together. I want to be able to be honest to myself and like to the world. And just, who knows what's going on, but I do have chest pains. But what we can help you with today is to take your chest x-ray and we can we can interpret that. I'm nervous about the, the results, you know? Like even if it was something terrible, hopefully I can be strong and make sure I can feel my body, right? Because can't, can't our bodies do that? If it's not too bad. <laughs> Do you see any reason for it to be extensive and order a CAT a CT for this? Your doctor will decide if your symptoms are getting worse or better. We're going to go ahead and get your, your x-rays to your doctor, and then you can discuss anything else that you'd like to do management-wise. We just got to get to work and just, you know, see what's going on. It's important to not be scared and to, regardless of what you think you have, you know, just to go in there and just, just take care of it. I want to say I'm sorry for the way that I look and that I'm doing my best to get better, so. What startled me the most is the fact that in his esophagus, he had these white plaques, which is a sign of having a very weakened immune system. Whether he's malnourished, whether he has any liver issues, whether he has HIV. Dr. Jorge Rodriguez joins us now, and, and Jorge, thank you so much for my pleasure. Taking care of Aaron. <laughs> Obviously, I think a lot of people are worried about Aaron. Aaron's worried about himself. What struck you most? Um, well, you know what? A doctor starts making his diagnosis the first as soon as you see a mm -hmm. patient. So even from far away, the first thing that struck me the most was how thin he was. It, it just was not a normal look. So that's the first thing that really raised a red flag. And, and then the fact that he was very sort of all over the place. I mean, very scattered and great guy, but just very kind of manic. It scared him, you could tell, to say a lot of the things that he was saying, but I had no doubt, right, that he was being totally upfront and putting everything out on the table because he is scared of what might be going on. Before we go to break, how much did Aaron weigh when he came to see you? Aaron weighed with clothes 115 pounds. That's, I mean, that's a And Aaron is how tall? Aaron is what, around maybe 5'8", 5'9"? It's a body mass index of 17, which is critical. So if nothing else, that right there says something bad is going on.